In 2011, the Polis Center was invited to visit Jordan by the U.S. State Department and asked if we might be interested in providing rehabilitation services to landmine survivors in Jordan. When the Syrian uh, war began and the tremendous number of uh, Syrian refugees into Jordan, the medical services were really overtaxed. The majority of refugees uh, crossing over the border into Jordan, three quarters of them are under the age of 17. They often come by themselves because their parents or, or family has been killed. We decided to open our own facility in partnership with Asia Development and Training. So I was one of those people who got the message and immediately I moved. We used for that to open our doors and our hearts for any people that need help. It's really evident when these children come to Jordan that they've experienced horrible events and that it's had a significant impact on their mental health. Recognizing that need, we established the Expressive Arts program two years ago, we began. Uh, these children come in initially, work just using a pen and pencil, doing some drawing. My name is Iman. I am from Syria. I am 16 years old. I was injured in Syria and I needed to get an artificial limb. That required going to Jordan. I first arrived at the Azatari refugee camp. I then went to the Al Badr Center where I received further treatment. While I was there, a drawing course started. This course lasted for about a year. In the class, I learned a lot and discovered my talent. I discovered that I love painting. This girl represents me, standing in nature. She has an artificial limb. She used to walk using crutches, but now, she is catching balloons without the crutches. She is free and walking normally. I am Nivin Abu Zaid, associate professor in Al Balka University, working with ADT. Our art journey, we start with them, we find the, uh, pictures with dark colors, faces of death everywhere, losing, um, losing things, losing, losing people, losing families, losing bodies, wheelchair everywhere, uh, parts of bodies everywhere in the pictures. This is what we can find from the beginning. And then when they start with our therapy, make them change a lot. Then you can find them now uh, using new colors, lot of light colors, uh, flowers everywhere, uh, because these people just try to believe and they just want you to tell them anything or do anything make them believe in life again hopes again tomorrow future mean a lot for them my name is sami i am 14 years old from dara syria I arrived in Jordan and I stayed for a year in Al Zatari camp and then moved to Al Badr Rehabilitation Center. From the very first day at Al Badr Center, I looked forward to start painting more. The first paintings I did were all about war and violence. 
and then slowly my paintings had more helpful themes and how I hope to go back to my country. These, the children in Syria, what they went through and the way that they have um, progressed through this kind of uh, expressive arts really reflects their, their incredible courage. There's this uh, horrific war that goes on daily, but yet we can still be resilient and we can move forward. Uh, and that's a profound message that these children in their art is a gift to all of us. My name is Khalid. I am 16 years old from Dara, Syria. And, and why, why did you start painting? I started painting because it was a release, as a way for me to forget everything I went through. I saw this painting and I thought it was very, very moving. I painted this one about the mass graves that happened uh, in Syria. It's a very, very powerful painting. You know, I noticed on some of the, the faces, it's, it's almost as if they are smiling. Those uh, are uh, martyrs. They die smiling. So this painting? I painted a story about my life. This represents me when I was in the center getting physical treatment. This represents my hobby which is painting. And uh, this represents me in the future becoming a football player. So who is this? Barcelona. Barcelona. And you're scoring, huh? So you, you're real, real Madrid? hard work we started. This is the benefit of the kids. We started, uh, did actually start the opening ceremony here with the Serb Charter Center when we had to bring the children from the Zatari camp and they saw their actually uh, painting on the wall and the people just only taking a picture and they like it. What is the feedback for them? What they gonna feel? Everybody was smiling. This is what I need to see it for the kids, that they are smiling, they are happy.